Alex, you wanted to highlight the work of the uh, the ITNJ, the Judicial Commission of Inquiry into Human Trafficking and Child Sexual Abuse. They have been taking testimonies from various people and uploading them to their website. Yes, this was a three-day session at Westminster Central Hall, which I attended the main day of. Uh, and if you go to commission.itnj.org just a couple of days ago, these videos, quite stunning in their quality and breadth, have been uploaded. I have nothing against other uh, efforts being made, um, but this one particularly seems to have selected with great care uh, to have representative breadth and incorruptibility. And uh, I don't think there's going to be m uh, much of a scope for them to set a foot wrong. They're being extremely careful and also serious about what they're going into. Uh, I've just picked uh, six, which I found personally uh, very compelling. They're all important. John Wedger saying the UK column interview saved me. Um, a Uyghur doctor for the Chinese state from the northwestern Chinese province of Xinjiang called Dr. Enver Torti, talking about a 20-year program to make, first of all, the adherents of Falun Gong or Falun Dafa, and then later the Uyghurs as a group, the ethnic Turks of northwestern China, into an organ pool with the connivance of the rest of the world. Ronald Bernard, who we have an interview with in the can, here talking in English very emotionally and with more depth than before about how he uh, had a ruined childhood and how the central banks used him to do their dirty work. Uh, Justin Walker of the uh, New Chartist Movement and British Constitution Group spoke very compellingly that we now know what's going on in finance. Michelle Young, the widow of Scott Young, who was one of the 14 supposed victims of Russian oligarchy in London, but uh, apparently of the British deep state instead, said that uh, she has found there's no justice in most British cases. She talks about her sympathy for the victims of child abuse because she knows the crossover. A Belgian lady called Karina Hutzabout, who's a criminologist who tries without going mad herself to go into prisons and work out what's going on in the heads of Belgian paedophiles, is talking about the dark heart of Belgium and uh, you know, the motivations that cause people like Ronald was talking about to become child abusers. And then uh, we can't read all the lists uh, of names, but on the next slide, I've just given you a list of all the others who were giving video testimony at this very important event. And as, as I was saying to uh, another alternative outlet, uh, media outlet that I was uh, interviewed by last night, I think that the quality and breadth of this now is it, um, it can't be stopped humanly speaking. There's too many professions and different national jurisdictions involved uh, and all the common law countries have now put forward professional people uh, of various kinds to investigate these issues. So even if one of these inquiries is squashed, God forbid, I don't think that the theme is going to be put away anymore. Um, well, I mean, just to, just to run down that list briefly, I mean, we've got people like Cynthia McKinney, uh, ex-Congresswoman, uh, Robert David Steele, ex-CIA, Bill Binney, ex-NSA, David Seaman, ex-mainstream media, uh, some campaigners on various issues, uh, and ex-Canadian MP there. So, I mean, you know, it does seem to be uh, uh, reasonably serious people involved in this. That is what makes this a distinctive thing at the International Tribunal for Natural Justice. We are the power behind the ITNJ. Add your voice. Sign the treaty.